one of the big turning points in the vagrancy law challenge is when hippies get arrested. So who are hippies? <laughs> white kids. White kids, middle class and upper middle class white kids. And like Fred Shuttlesworth uh, and his guests, they get arrested in their homes, right? So they have hippie crash pads and their home and their bacon pies and the police think they have drugs in their homes. <laughs> and so the police go and when they don't find drugs, they arrest these kids for vagrancy. And you see a sense of outrage and horror on the part of federal district court judges who say, this. These people aren't vagrants, right? How can you use these laws against these people? And I think it's a combination of empathy for these people who could be their children or their nephews or their right. grandchildren and sympathy. So what the hippies say is, we're just like African Americans. We too are targets of prejudice. We too are a minority that needs protection. And I think when the sympathy and the empathy collide, it becomes more and more apparent to more and more legal professionals that these laws are problematic.